My name is Catherine Tristan. This is Bailey. I'm trying to make these videos to help you. Bailey wants to play. So you know what I did? I played with Bailey. And I decided to feature ba Bailey on this video. Because maybe we all need to be a little bit more like dogs. We need to be a little more playful. What do you think, Bailey? So, to help you out, and to help Bailey out, I'm going to give you a couple of playful things to do. I call these stress busters, and I'm going to give you three. Can you get down now? All right, I'm going to give them to you with Bailey on my lap. I call these stress busters for mind, for body, and for spirit. You can figure out what spirit means to you. It means something different for everyone. The first stress buster I'd like to give you, I call breathe, stretch, smile. I think in order to show you this, I'm going to need to put Bailey down and show you how to belly breathe. Is that, is that okay? She says it's fine. All right. Breathe, stretch, smile. The amazing power to feel more relaxed begins with your breathing. And that type of breathing that I'm talking about is called diaphragmatic breathing, if you like big words, or belly breathing, if you like words like I do. Belly breathing simply means taking in a big, deep breath, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your lungs, which is near your belly. When you do that, you send a physiologic signal to your body, and that signal says, relax. We don't need to do shallow breathing anymore. Shallow breathing sends another signal to your body. It says, be careful, watch out, something could be wrong here. When you're feeling stress and anxiety, the type of breathing that you can do to take over that relaxation response is belly breathing. You breathe in through your nose, bring it all the way down to the bottom of your lungs, and your belly should come out. Let's try that. Try it again. You breathe in and you let the air out slowly. You can see how your shoulders may tend to go up. They tend to go up when you get nervous too. So take charge of that and take charge of your breathing. Let's try it again. Ready? Belly breathing. When you let the air out, your belly should go in. It's pushing that air out. This type of oxygenation in your body helps you relax. Whenever you find yourself feeling stressed out and experiencing shallow breathing, take charge of that and send your body the signal, relax, it's okay. Breathe, stretch, smile. That's the number one. Stretch, what do we mean by that? Well, when you get tensed up, what does your body do? It's curling like this, right? You're huddling. You're trying to keep your energy into yourself because you're afraid of what's out there. When you start to feel uncomfortable, either get up and move, walk around, or just even stretch. You know, you can go to the restroom and do the breathing, stretch the shoulders gently, and just take charge of the, the physical symptoms of anxiety. Another thing you can do is smile. Uh, studies show that whether you mean it or not, smiling enhances uh, endorphins. It uh, helps the endorphins to <laughs> filter through your body and it brings about a mild and more pleasant state. So breathe, stretch. Smile. Your face won't crack, I promise. Second thing that you can do is focus on now and say a calming phrase. Focus on now. Most of us who experience anxiety are in the future, the terrible future, the bad future. Something may happen, and I want to be prepared for it. I want to think about it so that it won't happen. When you focus on now, 
you stay in the present, most of the time the present is just fine. It's the future that we're worried about. Focus on now simply means look around you. See what's around. Focus less on the future and focus more on what you can see. Of course you have to plan for that future and be concerned about it, but you can also set a time aside to think about it more specifically. When you're under anxiety, you need to be able to relax yourself. Focus on now and say a calming phrase. Here are a couple of ones that I like. All is well. All is well. I can handle this. Maybe it's going to be pretty tough to handle. Maybe things really aren't all that well. But by programming yourself to, be, to believe that you can handle not just some but all of your problems is empowering. All is well simply means that it will happen the way it needs to happen and I'll handle it. The other thing you can do, stress buster number three, is focus on gratitude. When you focus on gratitude, that simply means notice what's right about your life instead of what's wrong. It doesn't mean that bad things aren't happening, that abuses aren't happening, but you'll need to deal with that. But in many ways, our stresses can be alleviated and the anxiety that we feel by focusing on what's right. And you know what? There's a lot more right usually in our lives than is wrong. There are things that we can pull out that, that are right about what's happening. There are things in our life that we can pull out that are working. We tend to focus on what isn't working. That makes some sense to me too because your body is adaptive. It's trying to adapt to a negative situation. So you do tend to focus more on what's wrong than what's right. But if you want to overcome anxiety, what you need to do is learn to turn the tables and turn that around. And another thing about focusing on gratitude is that it draws to you more of the same. Some people call this the law of gratitude. Some people call this just bringing energy into, into like, sort of like, like attracts like. However you want to think about it, when you focus on gratitude, you empower yourself. You learn to overcome your anxiety more by focusing less on what's wrong. You have to deal with it, but you focus less on it. Breathe, stretch, smile, focus on now, focus on gratitude. When you can do these things, you can give yourself an energy boost. You can bust some of that stress that's afflicting you now. And just remember, our thoughts create our lives. We must choose them wisely. Right, Bailey? Bailey says yes.